Good morning, guys. I'm aware that I look like shit, but uh, me and Paul have come out on an early morning walk. Although it's not as early as I thought it was going to be. I thought we would have been out of the house before now to go and find some Highland cows. Now, Highland cows in Holland, you say, yes. Right across the street from um, Paul's apartment is this like little, it's not really a forest walk, like a little nature walk. Nature walk. And there's four Highland cows that live here, and I named them Angus. Oh, I can't remember their names. Bonnie was the mum, Angus was the baby, Hamish. What was the last, what did I call the last one? There's four of them anyway. And they're right here. See, here they are. Staring at us. The baby's down here. He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, he's itchy. Baby Angus. Hey. You want some apple? You want some apple? Good boy. He's a yummy. Is mummy coming over now? Is mummy coming over? Yeah. So I only got I only got this one. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I got. No more. All gone. All gone. All gone. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to go for a walk? Sure. While we're here? No more. No more, Bonnie. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to follow this now. Oh no. Oh no, no, because that's mean. What are you looking at? Oh, the cows are still there. I don't know if you can even see them through the, Look at this. the rain on the window. Hello? Bonjour. <laughs> Why are you saying bonjour to bonjour. the Scottish cows? Hi. Anyway, good morning. We're now showered and dressed and I have makeup on my face. Don't ask me what's going on with my hair. It's a bird's nest on my head. It's annoying me so much, but I'm getting it cut tomorrow morning. It's all coming off. Be, all of it? I'm gonna be bald. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be bald because I have a very round face. I would literally look like an egg. Like, if, if there's face. someone that would not suit being bald, it's me. A round face is made, eh? like if a man has a round face, he has a good face to be bald. I would not have a good face to be bald. Mm. Anyway, so this morning we are heading to a baby store. New slash, not pregnant. Paul's best friend's fiance is pregnant. Hi Sana, I know you watch these vlogs. But we're making a surprise. So I'll show you guys around, I'll show you bits and pieces, but I'm not gonna show you guys what it is we're actually getting because I don't wanna ruin the surprise for her if she's watching this. Um, so Sana, if you continue watching, if you really don't wanna see anything, then just stop watching. Um, so yeah, so we're heading to, is it a big baby store? Mm -hmm. We're heading to a big baby store in Tilburg. What's it called? I'm not saying. He's not saying. The mystery continues. So yeah, um, we're heading there and we're gonna have a look for some bits and pieces that we can get um, because this is the time that we're at the age where all of our friends are having babies. True. Yeah, my babies have fins, so not for us, not yet. Not quite. Let's see. Okay, okay. Actually. Do you want to smell a yellow? No, I want a slow yellow. What does yellow mean? Yellow is, I presume, just the name. Oh. And smell is quick. I know. I like these. Yeah. These are so good. So good. Mm -hmm. oh, so good. They're like gingerbread. They're all like uh, gingerbread, uh, but with soul. Can you stop with the French accent? <laughs> no. Please. It's uh, dans my soul. Please stop. C'est pas possible. He's been speaking in a French accent all morning and is doing my absolute nothing. You're asking me to do something that's impossible. <laughs> stop. It's, it's who I am. It's what I. I'm profoundly on the inside. You're doing this on purpose because the last time you had like a starring role in one of my vlogs, you had like six people saying, oh, your boyfriend's so funny. So that's what you're trying to do again, isn't it? 
wasn't a dude like this before you even took your camera? Huh? Okay, I'm just gonna eat my snail that you get us to the baby story. Ch Ch chauffeur. Chauffeur. <laughs> All right, here we are. Ready to get some baby shit? Why is all of this shit so expensive? It's like we could go on holiday for that. Like a really good holiday. I met you for less. No, but you met me for less. It was my holiday. I know, I've never heard you say it like that before. <laughs> this kid. I'm dying for a pre-mark, like. This store is so expensive. It's quality. It's good stuff. The baby won't get die. Why are you still speaking in a French accent? I'm not. This is just an accent. Was a little blue. I think these are just like relics, though they don't actually sell them because you can't even move them. Pretty sure my grand had one like this. I have a picture of like one of my cousins in this. <laughs> Wherever you think we're gonna find baby girls that aren't like almost 20 euros for one. It's ridiculous, it was so expensive in there. What's a baby girl? A baby girl is a onesie, mm -hmm. a little onesie. And if I was in the UK, I would go to Primark or I would go to Tesco or I would go to Asda and you can get like a pack of like seven baby girls for like 10 euros, 10 pounds max, and they would be nice. Like in there, you would get one baby room for like 14.99, and it wasn't even nice. And considering they market themselves as a baby superstore, there was like a, a selection of, of maybe 10 baby rooms. That was it. She has to be here, yes. Thoroughly disappointed. If I knew the name of the store, I would name and shame them right now. They have but we did get some other stuff. Oh. Like, I think their selection was better if you needed like toys or prams or cots or something like that. And Not like baby clothes. It didn't I don't know. Portray itself as a baby clothes store. Follow me. I know the way to another thing that you might like and you might be happy about, okay? okay. And the price might be more your style. Okay, well, um, the accents come back. Let's go. Uh, accent is back. And uh, her smile is back, you see, as well. So it's perfect. Come. I mean, this is more like it, but I've never been more desperate for a pre-mark in my life. You can go to Astounded that you were in like a big baby store and it's four minutes away. Yes. And you're complaining so far. about it's going. So far. Who is peeping me? Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm excited to go and get baby stuff because I know that I'll be able to find some decent stuff in there for a reasonable price. At least we know it will be baby size because probably the people making it are babies. Exactly what I was talking about. Five euros, three baby Pink. girls. Baby you girls. have them in white and you have them in blue. Look, see, seven, seven baby girls for 11 euros. Freaking told you so. Oh, I do love all the Disney stuff here. It's so cute. Oh, little baby stuff. And the mini mouse. These dresses are so sweet. This is why I want a little girl. Why does this not come in an adult size? I would totally wear that. Okay, yeah, so the surprise is pretty much ruined. So I will have warned Sana not to watch this. So I hope that she stopped watching by now. But we've come to Paul's Oma and Opa's because his Oma is a qualified, as you can see from all of her diplomas up here on the wall. She's a qualified seamstress and haberdasherer? Haberdasherer, I think. Um, but she's super talented, like she's crazy. She keeps herself so busy with all of it. Like she's altered so many of my clothes and she makes us like little pouches with lavender and stuff in them. So we came to her for help on making a nappy cake and it is turning out so good so far. We've just had like a little break for coffee because we've been here like three hours now. <laughs> we did have lunch here as well though. 
Um, so yeah, I hope they're gonna really like it. Um, yeah, it looks really cool. is finished you can see it here I'm so proud of it like we did so well but I was filming clips and it was so cute because like your opa was coming in with like handmade like engineering made, things and your oma was spot. yeah and your oma was like just whipping out the glue gun like we've got this like we barely did anything it was pretty much your oma and opa that did it yeah well, I mean I rolled a lot of nappies and put all the stuff together but oh it's so cute and apparently I'm now going into business with them we're not making our, na our own nappy cake business because Zoma was like, oh, this will help me to clear up some of the, like, all the ribbon and stuff that she has, right? That's what she said. I think she, she has enough ribbon to, like, put it around the globe. <laughs> yeah, so. And if anyone's looking for a nappy cake, I'm now in business, so contact me. Comment below. Well, I mean, no, like, if you're in the United States, then no, it's not going to work. But if you live in the Netherlands and you're looking for a nappy cake, I'm your girl. Mm-mm. I'm what? That was, a, that was a confirming. Oh, mm -hmm. I thought that was. Mm -mm. Oh, that was not a sash. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, so we were gonna go to the cinema tonight, but we're not really feeling it. So I think we're gonna go home, and I am going to make us a curry, a Thai red curry with yeah. prawns. But I haven't defrosted the prawns yet. So. Prawns. Yeah, I don't usually eat prawns. I don't know why, but I just feel like them. I haven't defrosted them yet, so I need to take them out of the freezer and hopefully they'll defrost in time for dinner. They could be fun. Yeah. That's funny, your old man up as well. They are. Cute. They're fun. so sweet. And, and they feed us so well, like they're just like, here's lunch, here's coffee, here's sweets. Yeah, I'm not uh, hungry yet. I am. Where are you going, sir? I'm a little bit. You are a drunken boy. Okay, home time. I'm sure you do know what you're Okay, Paul say. wasn't finished. What? What are you going to say? I thought that when you're invited as a woman to a, ba baby shower? a baby shower that everybody makes a cake eh? with like diapers and little toys and nappies not diapers just say but continue okay I thought that was the you whole thought, idea. so you thought it was like a competition no but like everybody because I sent I sent the photo to so to Sana's mum so she could see what we did, and Paul was like, "Don't send her! Don't send her! She'll be getting ideas. She'll steal our ideas." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" I was like, like that. "Yes, you did. You said you yeah. said you'll be give oh you'll be giving her ideas, yeah, or she'll copy us or something like no, that." No, but then you give out that, the thing you made, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I'll make it like this." <laughs> And that's why I was like, what do you mean she's not making a nappy cake? Like, this is the nappy cake for the baby shower. And, she, and he was like, huh? Yeah. So you thought she was just going to get like 30 nappy cakes? Yeah, because apparently... I mean, that would be, babies, an, aw that would be an awesome baby shower. You would get yeah, a lot of stuff. Babies but. use like eight nappies a day or some stuff. 
a bad day, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe even more than that. I don't yeah. Know. So I thought, I like, if everybody maybe. gives them nappies, like, that will do them. I know, but nappy cakes cost a lot of money, and usually, like, if you imagine it, like a nappy cake will be like the centerpiece of the table and like everyone else will bring like what they want to give so like some people will give like I don't know like a play mat or like a breast pump or like like expensive stuff as well sometimes this, was, people, this wasn't cheap <laughs> I'm aware I'm aware but what I'm saying is that people can just bring what they want but usually well, sometimes the nappy cake isn't really a present. It's like whoever's organizing the baby shower will order a nappy cake from people who make nappy cakes or they'll make it themselves like I've done. We've done. We've done. All four of us. All four. <laughs> Over three hours. <laughs> but... But do you know what I mean? It's like it's like at a wedding, you have a wedding cake, but then but no, what, not what? everyone brings you a wedding cake. No. But was there no point in time that you would like did they ask you to make a nappy cake or like were you not gonna say like oh why are you making a nappy cake what do you mean because i thought everybody did no you were the one that suggested it you were yeah, like should we make a nappy cake for the baby shower and i was like sure if you want to yeah. make we can make the nappy I cake i thought sure. it was eh, a baby shower there's a bunch of girls coming together no but that's why i messaged having nappy cakes with like oh, oh look at this you bought like a little shirt and oh you got like a little and oh, you got like a little sneezy thing put in the nose. No. And then they gossip. I presume that's what girls do. I'm sure there's a, there's a lot of that. There's eat, games. They eat snacks. They eat snacks. And they like, oh, your belly's warm now. Yeah, they would take turns holding the belly. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah, well, that's why I messaged her mom and I was like, hey, are you okay if me and Paul make a nappy cake? And she literally was like, what's a nappy cake? So she's not ordered a nappy cake for the baby shower, which is in two months, by the way. Like, yeah, okay, but maybe she doesn't know what a nappy cake is. Well, because, she didn't, but now she does, so now she's like, brilliant, now we have a nappy cake as well. She would have said, like, a luiertaard, she would have been, oh, you mean yeah, a luiertaard? Oh, waarom zeg je dat niet of zo, joh? Okay, well, anyway, so now they have a nappy cake, she's happy, everyone's happy, it's fantastic, it's great, done. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we're home, and I may or may not have just went to feed the cows again. They're just too cute. They're my brethren, and my Scottish blood. Oh. Putting on that sounds like a complete fake Scottish accent. I swear, I am actually Scottish, but it only comes out when I talk to my family. How was the guy called in Outlander? The main guy. The main chap. Jamie Fraser. Why? Okay, name Jamie. I tell you all the time that I like the name James, and you're like, no, I don't. Yeah. And Jamie's a nickname for James. You know that, right? Yeah, but apparently everything is a nickname for everything. But Jamie is part You like the name Jamie? But I know a girl that's named Jamie, so... Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, good thing it's not us having the baby. Don't need to decide this just yet. But now, I assume from you assembling your Xbox that you're about to play some video games? It's fine, I have some work to do anyway. I need to send out some emails and stuff. Yes. Then I'm going to get comfy and then I'm going to make dinner. I literally just filmed this segment because I wanted to use my ring light. Just segment. This segment. Segment. This little, I'm going to sit down in front of my ring light and chat to the camera. I'm literally, I'm just talking shit, right? Okay, I need to go get some work done. Bye.